Welcome to another edition of the Columbia Cougars Coaches Show on Mediacom Channel 22, also online at ColumbiaCougars.com. My name is Cosmo from Zimmer Radio Group, Y107 and KTGR ESPN Radio with the athletic director and head men's basketball coach of your Cougars, Bob Burchard. Welcome. Thanks, Cosmo. It's great to be here. It feels like basketball again after feeling like summer and exactly. softball and <laughs> then basketball. And yeah, so I was walking back cold and forth again. From, from the dorms to the, to the gym in shorts and sandals one day mm -hmm. and then back to the hoodies and, uh, and sweatshirts. I know a couple of the guys from Australia were commenting again on the weather. They made the news last year with the snowfall and it seems to be uh, quite the topic, obviously, in Missouri with you never know what you're going to get weather-wise, that's for sure. It's, uh, it, it does make for an interesting uh, January. Uh, we've had a little bit of a break in between games, and um, you know, coaches kind of worry about everything. And we worry about what you just talked about, walking around in sandals in January, <laughs> but you know, they are college kids and they do those types of things. I think actually Matt Woodcock, uh, one of our Australian uh, kids, his uh, family, uh, parents are uh, in the country, um, have been here, will be for about nine games. Uh, he's had the opportunity to travel around with uh, them a little bit. And on one of those uh, warmer weekend days we had off, I think they went down to the lake and, <laughs> and um, uh, hired a, uh, a fishing boat. And I think he caught the biggest bass that wow. he's ever caught in his life. There so, uh, you know, you, you, as I said, you never know what college kids do. And I believe it was Matt that uh, last year the KOMU ended up using in a story with all the snowfall. I think it was uh, him talking about the different not just the different cultural aspect of being in the United States, but also the weather situation and having the, whatever it was, 18 inches of snow there in, in two days. Uh, right now, it's something that was as hot as it was the other day is your basketball team, I think eight of nine, and uh, that one loss in the Cougars versus Cancer Classic came down to the, the buzzer beater against Hastings. And I don't know if you could draw up the defense any better than you did with 27 seconds on the clock, and the, the kid just hit a, kind of a, a crazy shot there fading away at the buzzer to, to beat you guys. Cosmo, that was a great, great classic. Uh, all the teams went uh, split games, went one and one. Um, all the games were close and highly competitive. Uh, we expected that game to be that way. It was a tough matchup for us. Um, I really thought Hastings um, played extreme, extremely well in that game. And uh, it turned into a coin toss game is what we like to, to um, talk about. Um, and, you know, when you toss that coin, sometimes it comes up heads and sometimes tails. I, I really, um, as from a coaching standpoint, sometimes you look back and you go, man, I really wish we had done something different for a last play and uh, to change that coin toss. Um, but I really don't think in this, this case. Uh, we really uh, had the right personnel in and, and had, uh, had him defended well. Kind of did a left-handed, you know, hook <laughs> off, the, off the back of the rim type uh, gla uh, shot. The goal, obviously, is to avoid those scenarios, uh, to play at a level that, uh, that you don't come down to a last possession. Um, but uh, you will, during a 30-game during a season, you're going to have some of those go both ways for you. And that was a case where you had been down by, by nine fairly late in the ball game and got it back even again. And then, as we said, the guy hit the shot there at the end that, that, that got you beat. But there wasn't really much that uh, you looked at the defensive setup on that, and you could go, oh, "Well, this was a blown assignment." I mean, the guy just had a shot that that found the net for them right at the right at the horn. Well, we had three people pretty close to him, Cosmo. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, it, it wasn't like he just hit an open shot. True. I, I think sometimes, though, out of um, out of disappointment, you know, comes some improvement, and uh, I think we've seen that uh, with our team. Um, Devin Griffin was a big part of that comeback that you talked about from nine points. Uh, we really isolated him late in the game, kind of put the ball in his hands and, and, and let him create. I think since that point in time, his confidence level has uh, kind of regained uh, the form that, that he had earlier in the season. And so that, that's good to see. Um, and, and again, we learn about uh, how to play uh, different style teams. Uh, Hastings really caused us problems uh, on the perimeter. Um, very similar type issues with some of the teams we see in our conference and that uh, they, they played some small ball and had guys that, that play small forward can shoot threes and, and we like to play big ball and you know and so um, we, we um, I think uh, um, it helped us in preparation for the games that follow. And then again in that classic format uh, you play that Friday night and then you turn right back around and you come back out and the guys didn't hang their heads they came out and got a good win over Cumberland the next night and, and uh, and got back on the W, Cal. It, it was really a great game for us. Uh, Cosmo Cumberland's got a really strong team. They haven't lost since that game. 
Uh, I think they were very athletic, um, kind of like we, we've talked about within our own league, but also when you play in classics like that style was totally different uh, the second night. Um, I thought our guys were really determined. Uh, they, they really were um, competitive in a tough situation, and, and uh, I, I felt good uh, about that. I felt good at how they responded to a disappointing game. Yeah, the Cougars uh, have won eight of their last nine, including their first win in conference play. We'll come back with Coach Porcher and talk about the win over Park by 17 points and uh, what's ahead uh, in the AMC conference for the Columbia College Cougars. After this quick break, we'll be back to the Cougar Coaches Show here on Mediacom Channel 22.